that's exciting. You're going to be able to actually natively buy and sell and display NFTs. So I think that integration is going to dramatically increase the profitability and the utility of NFTs. They're not just something that's so niche. They're going to become very, very mainstream because it's directly integrated with this very popular social media application. So um, as far as anybody in this crypto space looking to get into NFTs and looking to uh, get into crypto in general, this is huge for adoption. Really, really big. Yeah, it's good that uh, we have the chief twit involved because he is all about uh, the evolution, the growth of the space. Uh, and of course, of course, Doge takes off the moment he walks into the uh, headquarters and starts removing, cutting, rolling heads around. So mm -hmm. now the fact that even the development team is announcing these tiles where you can actually showcase your NFT with the description naturally, so it looks natural. And I think there's a lot of good things to come. At least we can open our mouths now and say what we really think without having to over censor ourselves. We well, already are the CEO and CFO. And the Vijaya, the the legal. Um, she, yeah. she was the one who uh, was on Joe Rogan's uh, podcast where Tim Pool was uh, really digging in and asking a lot of questions, and she got uh, chopped pretty quickly. So not <laughs> physically, just like go from the company, no violence. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But the first three out. But uh, don't cry for them. I mean, did you no. see the golden parachutes? Oh my God! Yeah, fourteen so, million. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Uh, the crazy part is the CEO has only been a CEO for what nine months, not maybe no. not. Even. So they're fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, I, just to be clear, though, it's not uh, Elon did uh, did say and make it clear on Twitter that it wasn't going to be a free for all. Nobody should be able to just say whatever they want without consequence. So mm -hmm. there is still going to be some sort of regulation, regulatory, I guess, framework or or map uh, for. For you know, in order to not keep, in order to not create chaos, so mm -hmm. I, I think that that's also important to to note that there's a lot of people out there that are claiming that Twitter is just going to be kind of like this cesspool more so than it already is, mm -hmm. uh, and I, and the way that Elon has communicated it just doesn't seem to be the case. Correct, and uh, one of the big issues that even he claimed was the bots. So much spam bots in there. Uh, pushing agendas, pushing, you could see it. And yeah. then others uh, dropping visibility if they were not aligned with the entire space. Yeah, if you're not far left, like, it's no secret. You, If you're far left, you're probably doing just fine on Twitter. So, like, any any thoughts to the other side is where issues come, you know. Like sometimes, sometimes bots come, sometimes they don't come, sometimes they see your tweet, sometimes they don't, but it's always, always weird. Yeah. And it's still illegal to menace. It's still illegal to to wish someone uh, harm with a credible threat. So, like, mm -hmm. like we we don't condone any of that. Like, you, right. you should be a respecter of life, liberty, and property. But you should be able to come to a dissenting idea with your own ideas and let the merit of the ideas stand on their own. You don't have to get uh, aggressive, threatening people's life, liberty, or property.